Greenhouse gases aren't the only thing that we humans are pouring into the atmosphere. We're also pouring particulate matter, or we often call them aerosols, into the atmosphere. Now these aren't gases. These are small particles and they stay up anywhere from a couple of days to a few months, depending on how big and how heavy the particles are. A good example is smoke. Smoke from a smokestack from burning coal, for example, or smoke from a bushfire, which is a natural aerosol which goes into the atmosphere. Aerosols mainly work to cool the atmosphere, so they act in opposition uh, to greenhouse gases. And they do that because they scatter incoming sunlight. So some of that sunlight doesn't make it to the Earth's surface. So that has the effect of actually cooling the Earth's surface. So in fact, ironically, even though it, it's not good for us because it's local air pollution and it affects human health negatively directly, it does provide us a benefit by slowing the cooling a bit. So right now the Earth is at about 1.1 degree Celsius above pre-industrial. But if we stripped out the aerosols, that would go to 1.4 or 1.5 degrees even as we speak today. So they are cooling by uh, two or three or four tenths of a degree. Now there is one exception to that, and there are, there are some carbon particles put out as soot. They actually absorb sunlight and they actually add to the heating. So you have to look at this balance between the aerosols that scatter and cool, the aerosols that absorb and heat. On balance, it's a net cooling effect. So we understand that pretty well. But ironically, as we clean up air pollution, and there's a good reason for doing that, for health reasons, we're actually going to add to the warming of the atmosphere.